Okay, I've got everything cleared off of the countertops. I did go ahead and put up my curtains for the spring season. I went ahead and put up that just above the stove, but I've got a little bit of cleaning. Let's go ahead and let me swipe this down, put my new vacuum together, and then we'll get to decorating. My last vacuum was a Dyson V7 and it lasted about seven years. So uh, I know they have a new V15 out, but I got a new V11. So if this one lasts 11 years, I'll be really happy about that. Uh, I thought that the V15 being new was a bit pricey. I wanted to go ahead and replace my Dyson. I just love it. It charges in my laundry room. I get that out almost daily just to vacuum up around my kitchen and my dining room table. And I just love having this on hand. I can usually get through vacuuming my whole house. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and let it charge. And then we're going to move on to some decorating in my kitchen for spring. Now, just to let you know, my Dyson is not sponsored on this video at all. It's just a product that I like, and I like to share it with you. Now that I have everything cleaned up, wiped down, ready to go, let's go ahead and get started with some decorating. Okay, let's get started decorating. I'm going to start here in my stovetop area, and I did add my noodle board that Larry had made me. Uh, quite a few years ago and I do like to get it out every once in a while and just add it to my decor. I do take it down when I cook but that's not every day. I'm going to go ahead and add my crock here with all of my cooking utensils and I use these daily and those just remain there. The sign above the stove in this kitchen we lick the spoon i made that several years ago and i just love it for my farmhouse style kitchen and i bring it out usually it remains up there unless i'm putting up a seasonal sign the next item is a new item i just took it out of the box it's a whistling teapot and I have picked up some new tea that I want to try, and I'll show you that maybe at the end of this video or another upcoming video. But I wanted one of those whistling teapots to brew some tea, and I'll share that with you uh, as soon as I use it. A lot of my kitchen items I get from Amazon.com. So I do have those listed in my Amazon storefront under farmhouse kitchen, if it's something you might be looking for. Uh, this little tea caddy I also got from Amazon a few years ago. I just love it. I can pull a tea bag out and I can fill it up with different teas. Now this is new, the little cage that I added uh, with the teacups, you, I've got a theme going here. Uh, some English tea for spring uh, is my theme for my kitchen this year. But I've got a couple of little teacups in that little bird cage that I got from Hobby Lobby this year, and that one was new. So I now have two of those, and I just love them. I love bringing them out in the spring, but I thought I would add the teacups to it this year instead of uh, any birds or eggs or anything like that. The next item that I'm adding is just a little creamer that I had thrifted, and I had picked up some of these light-colored tulips they're the real touch tulips and i just took three out of the bunch i'm using them uh, in another location but i just wanted three to add to this and i just love the yellow flowers and the color that it's adding to my stovetop here for spring 
Moving away from my stove top, just next to my stove, I just have several cutting boards. Uh, one Larry had made for me and the others, uh, one was uh, thrifted and the other two was bought from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted to add those next to my stove. These next items are just some of my everyday. It's a timer sitting on a little pedestal. Those came from Hobby Lobby. My salt and pepper that I use for uh, cooking here each day, I've got that from Amazon.com. And then the other little spice container, that is my cinnamon and sugar. I love to make uh, cinnamon toast. So I keep that setting out now and Let's move on over to the right-hand side of my countertop next to my mudroom. Even if I left this area open, it would look okay. It's a narrow countertop. It's not a lot of workspace, but I'm going to go ahead and add my ladder with my tea towel, a little basket that I got new from Hobby Lobby this year, and I just added some greenery. Moving over to under my countertop, I have four hooks, and I just want to uh, display a few items that I have on hand uh, for the spring, and that will probably the only thing I'll change out is my tea towel for summer, but I'm adding a cutting board that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got a couple of little scrubbers uh, also that came from Hobby Lobby. You can also get those from amazon.com or probably a lot of different places. Also have just a little plant hanger and some faux plants. I got all of that from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm adding a tea towel to match my curtains that I have placed in my kitchen for spring. Next, let's move up to my shelves that I actually when we remodeled our kitchen, I took down the cabinet that was so awkward looking up here and put two open shelves, and that's some old barn wood that my son had at his place, and Larry had fixed those and put them up for me, and they'll hold just about all, any weight that I want to put up there with those brackets. So let's go ahead and get started on these. These are some of the items that I have that I'm gonna place up on those shelves in my kitchen. And I may add a few more things, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna show you me climbing up and down the step stool to get them all up there, but this is what I have. So let me go ahead and get them put up and then I'll show you what it looks like. 